We have learned about the reflection of light from flat surfaces and the formation of images by plane mirrors. Let's find out about curved mirrors. Specifically curved mirrors that have a spherical shape. Such mirrors are called spherical mirrors. Spherical mirrors can be thought of as a portion of a sphere that was sliced away and then silvered on one of the sides to form a reflecting surface. Concave mirrors are silvered on the side of the sphere. Convex mirrors are silvered on the outside of the sphere. Let's get familiar with some terminology used with respect to concave mirrors. If a concave mirror is thought of as being a slice of sphere, then there would be a line passing through the center of the sphere and attaching to the mirror in the exact center of the mirror. The line is known as the principal axis. The point in the center of the sphere from which the mirror was sliced is known as the center of curvature and is denoted by the letter C. The point on the mirror's surface where the principal axis meets, the mirror is known as the vertex and it is denoted by the letter A. The vertex is a geometric center of the mirror. Midway between the vertex and the center of curvature is a point known as the focal point. The focal point is denoted by the letter F. The distance from the vertex to the center of curvature is known as the radius of curvature. It is represented by letter capital R. The radius of curvature is the radius of the sphere from which the mirror was cut. Finally, the distance from the mirror to the focal point is known as the focal length. It is represented by letter F. Since the focal point is the midpoint of the line segment adjoining the vertex and the center of curvature, the focal length would be one half the radius of curvature. The focal point is the point in space at which light incident towards the mirror and traveling parallel to the principal axis will meet after reflection. If some light from the sun were collected by a concave mirror, then it would converge at the focal point. Because the sun is such a large distance from the earth, any light rays from the sun that strike the mirror will, will essentially be traveling parallel to the principal axis. For this reason, solar heaters are concave in shape. Let's perform an activity to visualize this. Take a concave mirror and place a matchstick at the focus point. When this setup is pointed at the sun, after some time the matchstick starts burning. The concentrated heat from the sun is sufficient to light the matchstick. Let's find out how images are formed by concave mirror. Depending on the object location, the image could be enlarged or reduced in size or even same size as the object. The image could be inverted or upright and the image will be located in a specific region along the principal axis. Light always follows the law of reflection, whether the reflection occurs from a curved surface or from flat surface. The task of determining the direction in which the incident light ray would reflect involves determining the normal to the surface at the point of incidence. For a concave mirror, the normal at the point of incidence on the mirror surface is a line that extends through the center of curvature. Once the normal is drawn, the angle of incidence can be measured and reflected ray can be drawn with the same angle. Concave mirrors are capable of producing real as well as virtual images. When a real image is formed, it still appears to an observer as though light is diverging from the real image location. Only in the case of real image. Light is actually passing through the image location. Let's find out images formed by concave mirror. The light bulb is placed in front of a concave mirror at a location somewhere behind the center of curvature C. The bulb will emit light in a variety of directions, some of which will strike the mirror. Each individual ray of light that strikes the mirror will reflect according to the law of reflection. Upon reflecting, the light will converge at a point. At the point where the light from the object converges, a replica likeness or reproduction of the actual object is created. 
This replica is known as the image. If the light bulb is located at a different location, the same principle apply. The image location is the location where reflected light appears to diverge from. By determining the path that light from the bulb takes after reflecting from the mirror, the image location can be identified. Light always reflects according to the law of reflection. Regardless of whether the reflection occurs from flat surface or a curved surface. These two rules will greatly simplify the task of determining the image locations for objects placed in front of concave mirrors. First rule is that any incident ray traveling parallel to the principal axis on the way to the mirror will pass through the focal point upon reflection. Second rule is that any incident ray passing through the focal point on the way to the mirror will travel parallel to the principal axis upon reflection. We will use SIM bucket simulation software to understand nature of image formed by concave mirror. This simulation is available at www.simbucket.com. This is the principal axis on which candle is placed upright. Focal point is noted by F while center of curvature is located at 2F. Slider can be used to increase and decrease the focal length of concave mirror. Height of the candle can be adjusted using the slider. Measurements related to height and distance of object as well as image are given here. You can replace candle with arrow as well as ABC letter. We will use candle for our exploration. Our goal is to determine the location, size, orientation and type of image that is formed by the concave mirror for the candle. We will place the candle beyond center of curvature of the concave mirror. First ray from the top of the flame travels parallel to principal axis and reflects back passing through focal point of the mirror. Second ray passes through the focal point of the mirror that is reflected parallel to the principal axis. These two rays are enough to find the location of image for a topmost point of the flame. If you decide to use third ray which directly meets the mirror at the pole and after reflecting also passes through the same point where first two rays meet after reflection. In this case image of the candle is inverted, small in size and real. This image can be projected on screen. Image is located between center of curvature and the focal point. Try moving the candle beyond the center of curvature and observe the nature of the image. Use this simulation to place candle at various locations on the principal axis and find out the nature of image formed. We explored the nature of image using concave mirror. Simulation helped us to understand nature of image formed when object is placed at different locations along principal axis. Using the simulation software, can you find out the object location which will result in virtual image formation for concave mirror? Here is some challenging assignment for you. Try building a solar heater with the help of your teacher with local material like used dish antenna, aluminium foil or similar reflective material.